The time has finally come for us to review a GPU. Asus has loaned me the tough gaming GeForce RTX 3080 OC to play around for a few weeks and I know, I know, I'm late to the party, like two years late, but let's, let's, let's just do the video please. Plus, with the recent release of the RTX 40 series cards, is this GPU even worth considering? Let's find out. In a nutshell, the TUF 3080 OC is running NVIDIA's Ampere architecture, 2nd gen RT cores and 3rd gen Tensor cores. What does this mean? I absolutely have no idea. What I do understand is that the GPU has 10GB of GDDR6X video memory, 8704 CUDA cores and is factory overclocked to 1785 MHz, a 4.4% increase over the Founders Edition card. Now that was an extremely brief overview of the GPU because let's be honest, you won't remember any of it. What matters most is real world performance and spoiler alert, it's pretty great. But before we get to that, a little more on this card. With great performance comes great heat. Thankfully, the TUF 3080 OC is equipped with an excellent cooling solution. Firstly, there is three axial tech fans with dual ball fan bearings for consistent performance and increased longevity. What's interesting about the fans is that the center fan spins clockwise whereas the side fan spin counterclockwise. This is done in order to reduce turbulence. The fans will also stop when the GPU temperature falls below 50 degrees. When I'm doing simple tasks such as watching YouTube or some scripting, the fans don't even spin. Next, we have a massive aluminum fin stack heat sink. It has an improved heat spreader that allows for better contact with the die for optimal heat transfer. It's also worth mentioning that there are backplate vents at the far end of the card to allow for better airflow. Another thing you'll find at the back is a performance and quiet toggle for the fans. I left it at performance because it was already relatively quiet even when under heavy load. All of these solutions work together to eliminate heat but it does come at a cost. This is a thick card taking up to 2.7 slots. So in order to power this card, you thankfully have two 8-pin connectors at the top instead of the 12-pin connectors. These connectors have an LED each that will light up red if the connectors are not plugged in correctly. By the way, ASUS recommends a PSU of 850 watts. In terms of I.O., you have two HDMI 2.2 and three DisplayPort 1.4a. However, do note that this card can only support a maximum of four displays. Last but not least, RGB. It's very minimal on this card. You'll find it on the Tough logo and at a small strip directly under it. That's all you get, but hey, what matters is performance, right? So let's put it to the test. I'll be using my Testbench PC that we previously built on this channel with the Illegal Apex 27, a 1440p 165Hz display. Let's start with the 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark. My PC scored 15,023 a great overall score with an even more impressive thermal performance. We can see this within the detailed monitoring. Despite being at 100% load, the GPU temperature only hovered around the 16 degree mark. These are excellent temperature readings, but then again, airflow wasn't really a concern for my case, pun intended. Anyway, there's a benchmark happening in the back right now and can you hear how quiet it is? The fans and the heatsink are doing an excellent job at removing heat from the card. Moving on, I ran the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark at the high and highest settings. It's interesting to see that despite running at the highest settings, the TUF 3080 OC only drops by a few frames compared to the high settings. Next, I ran the benchmark within Forza 5 at extreme settings and it averaged 82 frames. This game looks so realistic at extreme settings, it's truly impressive that the GPU can still maintain such a high frame rate while pushing out these beautiful visuals. Lastly, I tested with a game that I actually play, Valorant. On high settings, I averaged around 250 frames during heavy gameplay and well over 300 frames during those less intense moments. The graphics were absolutely sharp and buttery smooth with the TUF 3080 OC. Dare I say it helped me with a couple good kills. Despite me only testing the games at 1440p, you can also expect excellent performance for 4K gaming. I just don't have a 4K gaming monitor. <laughs> but here's some results that I borrowed from the XO. You can see that it handles 4K gaming perfectly fine and I can only imagine how much more beautiful the games will look. Now for those hardcore PC enthusiasts, ASUS has provided you with GPU Tweak 2. With this tool, you can tweak parameters such as GPU core clock, memory frequency, 
voltage settings and more. However, I'd like to remind you that this card is factory overclocked and running stable. So for the majority of you, you won't need to tinker around with what ASUS has done. Now let's revisit the question we asked at the start of the video. With the recent release of the 40 series cards, is the TUF 3080 OC still worth considering? You're gonna hate this answer, but it depends. If you can get a hold of the 40 series card at MSRP, then I would definitely recommend going for that. But considering that they were just released, it's unlikely you'll be able to get a hold of them, let alone purchase it at MSRP. This is where I would recommend the TUF 3080 OC as an alternative if you can get it at a good price. Now, a good price is subjective because even after 2 years, the price of the GPU is still fluctuating. Maybe think of it this way. If a 40 series card is too difficult or too expensive to get at the moment and you need a GPU that can handle 1440p or 4K gaming while maintaining steady temperatures under load, the TUF 3080 OC is a great choice. You won't be missing out on anything if you go with this GPU. A quick shout out to DSpace Malaysia for providing me with the custom PSU cables that complement my build so beautifully. If you want to get some for your own setup, check out the description box below for a discount code. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!